Hello world, today I'm going to be addressing a big security concern for Microsoft that I found on Windows computers, Windows 10, 8, 7, and I believe this is all this, uh, Windows 10, 8, or 7. I found out, so it's been kind of a thing on the internet now to find out, to try to find out if you can figure out how to break into a user account on the, uh, on the, um, on a, on the local computer. Well, I, I found a way and I'm going to, in a way, and I'm going to, I'm going to put this video out there as an excuse, as a hope that Microsoft will see it and fix this in a Windows update. Now, before we get started here, um, I'm not responsible for anything you do with this information. Uh, if you use the, if you use this, then I'm not responsible for anything that happens. ETC. So what you're going to want to do, so for, so one thing that's worth throwing out there is that is that users, Windows users who sign into their to their computer with their um, Microsoft account login or are, are safe from this because this this only works for resetting information on the computer, not on Microsoft servers. So, but if you sign in with a non-Microsoft login, like a normal just computer account, then this is of concern to you. So what you're gonna so how to how to do this is you just go to uh, is you just access the computer's automatic repair or recovery options. How you do that is you basically just turn the computer off and then repetitively turn it on and then when it gets to like the Windows booting up Windows screen, turn it off again and just do this like three to five times and eventually it'll go to, you know, instead go to a screen that'll look somewhat like this. It'll say like recovery. It looks like Windows didn't load correctly. What you're going to want to do is click see advanced repair options, click troubleshoot, advanced options, and click system image recovery. Now admittedly if the computer you're doing this on is BitLocker turned on then you have to know what the BitLocker recovery key is but you know not everybody's going to have BitLocker turned on so that's enough said. Um, so once you're on this screen just click cancel then check Select the system image, then check, click advanced, click install a driver, click OK. And what you want to do is go to OS Let's See, Windows, System 32, You may not be able to use sticky keys again until you either reinstall Windows or undo this. You go to cmd.exe, you have to scroll down to it unfortunately because there's no search on it. Uh, 
selected once you've edited and copied it to CMD. Then what you want cmd.exe, what you want to do is go to set hc, then right click it, click rename, then just rename it to like setch1 or something, then just press enter. Then select the original setch, then just, uh, I, then just, there'll be an option to paste for you, just click paste, and then that's it, you're pretty much done here. So once you've done that, you just want to restart the computer, and I'll be back with you in a minute. So now, I'm back at the normal Windows login screen. Here's what I'm going to show you. No, ordinarily, when you press Shift five times, that would act, it'll come pop up with a window act, asking if you want to activate sticky keys. But instead, now that we've done that, what's going to happen is when we... It's going to instead open the command line. And as you can see, command line is logged in as C Windows System 32. Which means that this command line is elevated and can do pretty much everything. Let's take, let's try this. One thing I can do is go and, um, change the, uh, one thing I can do is go ahead and activate the default, the built, the hidden built-in administrator. Uh, account on Windows and it successfully activated it. Another thing I can do is actually change the password of my default administrator account I'll just type in something random well actually I'll show you what I'm going to type in but I'm going to change this later so one two three four five and Let me just make sure I did that right. And it completed successfully. And I just hacked that account and changed the password. So, and to prove it to you, typing in that same password, I pass, new password I just forged, and it's signing in. As you can see, it's now signed in. So, uh, this is kind of a plea to my, no, this video is kind of a notification to Microsoft to please fix this. Um, if you do decide to use this information, I'm not responsible for what happens to you. And, uh, that's about it. This is what's up 290 and I'm signing off. Please Microsoft see this video and be notified of this.